Hey everyone, I've come to the realization that I haven't done any sort of routine with the horses on the channel, and what better way to start doing that but with a winter morning routine here at the barn. A quick disclaimer, this was filmed before the holidays, so that's why all of our decorations are still up. So without further ado, I present to you a very average winter morning here at the Silver Glade Equestrian Center. Enjoy. I usually have to drag myself out of bed at what feels way too early at 5 a.m. so I can get myself ready and get to the barn at 7. And this was my first outfit of the day. For some reason, I just wasn't satisfied, so I changed, I think, like three times during this routine. When I finish getting ready, I usually head out to town and stop by a coffee shop called Cafe Harp. I almost always get my breakfast here because it's practically the only place in Aideen's Plaza open at this hour and then i don't have to make my own food when i'm only half awake i am not a morning person today i had some tea and a delicious cinnamon roll after a quick and delicious morning bite i got in my car to head out to the barn i was on a little bit of a roll this day so i was actually able to get to the barn a little bit ahead of schedule which only happens about once in a blue moon this past Christmas was a lot of fun. On Jorvik, we always get super festive around the holiday season, and here at the Equestrian Center, it's no different. As you all can see, the staff did such a lovely job decorating the barn. They seriously went all out. So the first thing I do when I get there is say hello to the horses, of course. They always get very excited to see me. I like to tell myself it's because they love me so much, but realistically, it's probably because I'm the one who feeds them, and when I walk in the barn in the morning, they know what time it is. There really is no better feeling than giving Flamey some cuddles in the morning. She's gotten a lot more personable and cuddly in her old age. I could do this all day if I had the time, but unfortunately, I've got things to do and ponies to take care of. The next thing I do when I get there is check the board, which tells me what lessons are scheduled, events, and if anyone's coming to the barn like a vet or the farrier. Today is a pretty full day as I've got the vet coming at 10 a.m. and then a group lesson scheduled for 11 a.m. And some other things to do in the afternoon, but this is a morning routine so we won't get into that. Around this time, the horses usually get pretty impatient and give me a loud reminder to hurry up and feed them. <laughs> All the horses get hay in the morning, during winter especially. I soak their hay with warm water just to hydrate them a little bit more. It adds a bit of extra time to my routine, but it is definitely worth it for the horses. And 18 hay nets later, it is time to feed grain. Flamey and Alfie both get joint supplements due to them being older. Buggy and Autumn get some performance horse supplements mixed in with their grain. Everyone else who boards at the barn pre-makes their horses grain the day before, so it's fairly easy to hand out and put in their buckets. And most of them get their grain soaked. By feeding them at 7 a.m., they usually will be finished eating at 7.30ish. And this is usually about the time when my help comes in. When the horses are finished eating, we bring all of them out to their pastures for the day. We turn out the horses even in the snow. The only times we don't turn them out is if it's too icy, stormy, basically whenever there's potentially dangerous weather. I might complain when the weather's getting a bit cold, but the horses definitely do not fail to have fun on a good snow day. Now our awesome stable hand gets to work with mucking all the stalls. Most of the time, this takes the rest of the morning as we have a lot of horses here. The vet was coming at 10 to do a check on Alfie, so I figured I would sneak in a little ride on Mr. Buggy before then, so I groomed him and tacked him up.
Now cue outfit change number two. So I was planning on taking some cute wintry riding photos. So I got changed into some cute riding clothes that match Buggy's brand new tack set a little better. I love the snow, but that also means I can't ride in the outdoor, which is sad because I love the outdoor arena. But <laughs> anyways, we had a really productive ride. Buggy's been coming along nicely, and I've mainly been doing flat work and working with him to get a stronger foundation. And I've also had weekly lessons with him, and those lessons we do a lot of jumping work. I've also schooled him a few times on a couple of cross-country courses. I plan to start jumping more regularly pretty soon as I feel much more confident with his and my abilities now. When the show season starts up again, I'm going to do some low-level venting shows with him. I've learned that he is a really quick learner. He has been one of the easiest horses for me to work with just because he's so eager to please. That does mean he can get frustrated when he's confused or doesn't understand something. Honestly, that's been helping me as a rider because then I know that I need to break it down better, be clear, or take a slower pace with him. Anyway, we weren't out there for long, but he did a super job with this course that was set up today. We did a lot of pole work. I expected him to be a lot more spicy because of how cold it was, but he's pretty consistent no matter the weather, which is something I adore about him. Also, I wanted to show you all the pictures I got from that ride. They turned out pretty good considering I was my own photographer. So, you know, we're working with what we have. Since it was so chilly out, I made sure he was super cooled off. I didn't want any sweat on him. He didn't sweat a lot and I do clip him to help with that issue. I put him back out to the pasture with his best bud, Tucker, who is the sweetest Appaloosa on the planet. To my third and final outfit change of the day, I got out of my riding clothes and into something more comfy. I grabbed Alfie from the pasture and at 10 a.m. sharp, the vet came to check him out. Now, if you watched the reveal video, during his first checkup, the vet mentioned that he had an inflammation in his hawk. It's been a year, his hawk is healed up, but since then he's just had little issues and I actually haven't been able to ride him because of those. But he has been on the mend lately. My idea was to train him up even more and either sell him or use him in my lesson program. At this point, I don't think he's fit enough to be in the program. He was a little older than I had anticipated and I'm not sure he's fit enough for that or he ever will be. So my plan is once he's healthy, I'm going to work with him and eventually sell him to someone who kind of wants a companion or light riding horse. My goal with this vet visit was to get the green light to start doing some groundwork in light riding and I'm very pleased to say that he got cleared to start working. So with this news, we went for a celebratory lunch. We only did some trotting and walking, about five minutes both directions. I was super impressed with Alfie. He's not really been worked with too much and for the most part, he's been sitting in a pasture just kind of recovering. He was such a good boy though and I'm very eager to see how he does in the future. I really think he's going to be perfect for a family that wants a light riding or companion horse to love on. Moving on from that, the last activity I had going on on this very productive morning was an advanced group lesson. We did a lot of jumping exercises and put focus on a specific combination, and the girls did a lot of work with counting strides and setting their horses up in between jumps. The horses were giving my students lots of good teaching moments today. They were just feeling a little frisky because of the cold weather. I mean, who can blame them, right? 
But like I said, it gave us lots of good teaching moments and the girls handled it really well. Say hi to the video. <laughs> Hello. Unfortunately, we did have to end the lesson off a bit earlier than planned. The snow was coming down faster and faster every minute. The wind was howling, which was spooking the horses, and it was all kind of a mess. So for ourselves and the horses' sake, we decided it would be best if we brought them back to the barn. Alrighty, everyone. Flamey is going to help me with this outro. Well, that was my winter morning routine. I didn't show this part as it wasn't technically morning still, but we did have to end up bringing in the horses from the pasture because of the storm so they could all be cozy and warm in their stables. Yeah, that morning was a very productive one to say the least. I mean, it's not always that busy. It just depends on the day, depends on the season. Like summer, we have so much more things going on here. But yeah, that was roughly what I do in the morning as a co-owner of a Silver Glade Equestrian Center in the winter. Basically, as you'd expect, making sure that the horses are taken care of and alive <laughs> and going to any other events I've planned. Um, yeah, anyways, if you have any future video ideas you all want to see, please let me know. I love hearing everyone's feedback. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Okay, okay, someone's ready for dinner. I hear you play me.